Hey everybody, this is Josh Paul, host of the Small Marketing Teams podcast. I'm really glad that you're checking out the show today. If you're trying to grow your business and you're not a household name or a well-funded startup, you need to do things differently. And that's what we get into on this podcast. If that's you, go ahead and click subscribe on the screen right now so that you'll get notified when we put out new tips, new tutorials, and new advice for small marketing and sales teams. You thought the problem was bad leads coming from marketing? You thought that your sales team needed more sales training? When in fact, this is something that is on you. Small Marketing Teams, episode 26. You're listening to the Small Marketing Team Show with Josh Paul. The podcast where you'll learn how to achieve big growth without a big budget. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in to today's session of the Small Marketing Teams Show, the podcast that marketers, salespeople, and business owners rely on to learn how to do more with less. Each week, I'll teach you how you can grow your company without the big budgets that we associate with marketing today. Whether you're the only marketer in your company, and you're also the salesperson, the CEO, and the person who does payroll, or you have a marketing team big enough to need an org chart, you're in the right place. I'm your host, Josh Paul. Let's get started. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me on the Small Marketing Teams podcast this morning. I'm really glad that you are here. We have so much going on here at Small Marketing Teams. I'm excited to tell you about it all. But there's one thing I want to share with you up front. If you use HubSpot, and many of you do, some of you don't, but if you use HubSpot and you have questions, if you're struggling, if you've bought into the dream but the execution is killing you and you feel stuck, I want to invite you to a program that we just launched. It's called the HubSpot Inbound Hackathon. It's a two-hour group work session where we're bringing as many HubSpot customers together as possible to help each other out. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to try to do it every month, and I hope you can make it. You can go to inboundhackathon.com and sign up and get your invitation, and it's really about helping you get stuff done, so I hope to see you there. So today's topic is about small marketing teams and sales and small sales teams. Let me ask you a question. Do you feel like you've tried everything to increase sales but you're only seeing slight growth. Maybe you're banging your head against the wall because even when you work your butt off to fix the problem, you keep ending up in the same place. So today I wanna to share with you a basic math equation that I learned when I was growing my business that has a direct impact on your sales growth. The problem is that most sales managers ignore this math equation. And then what do they do? They contort their sales team into messaging acrobatics and implementing complex sales training and technology before solving this fundamental element of lead management. Now, I don't know for sure why people overlook this secret to unlocking growth. Maybe it's so simple that you assume that you've already gotten this formula right. Maybe getting it right is harder than you thought which is the case in, with a lot of the companies that I work with. The formula goes like this. If your sales reps can sell X amount every hour that they spend selling, they can sell 2X if they spend two hours selling. I know you're thinking, my mind is blown. Here you are struggling to grow your sales numbers. You thought it was an issue with your product and your product market fit. You thought the problem was bad leads coming from marketing. You thought that your sales team needed more sales training. When in fact, this is something that is on you. It's 100% controllable by you, the marketing leader or the sales manager. Here's the issue. You're giving your sales team a clunky process and an inefficient tool set. So reps are only spending two to three hours a day selling. But you're not alone. Most reputable research indicates that sales reps are only spending 30% of their time on sales activities. And the rest of the time they're spent on sales admin and CRM tasks. So when was the last time you audited your sales reps day? If they are getting your current results selling three hours per day, what would your revenue look like if you found a way to get them to sell four to five hours a day or six hours a day? If they spent five hours a day or six hours a day on selling activities, how would that impact based on the formula that I laid out at the beginning of this episode? But it's not as easy as cracking the whip to get them to spend more time selling. Lack of efficiency in your sales process is caused by an imbalance in what I call the sales efficiency formula. 
All right, you're going to want to write this down. Here's the sales efficiency formula that I de developed years ago and that I help coach companies on and implement in their CRM. It's easy processes plus time-saving tools plus clear data. I'm going to say it again. Easy processes combined with time-saving tools combined with clear data. That's how you go from selling two or three hours a day to five or six hours a day. It's a simple formula and it touches every aspect of your CRM and how your sales team tracks leads. Combining these three components of this formula gets to the heart of how your sales team works their leads from how leads are routed, how outreach and follow-ups are tracked, and which leads get converted to opportunities. It also makes it easier to coach your sales reps and identify friction points in your sales process sooner. Giving your sellers a lead management process built on this formula might feel like a big undertaking at first. However, it is the deep planning that you do up front that will deliver a simple and efficient process to your sales reps. And that will serve them and your company's growth goals for the next five years or seven years or 10 years. If you go back a couple episodes in the Small Marketing Teams podcast, I recorded an episode on the trap of simple CRMs and I introduced the concept of the duality of CRMs where you need to do the upfront complex piece first in order to create a simple efficient lead management process for your sales team. So the point I want you to take away from this today is choosing to do the hard things actually gives you more control over your results and the levers that you have to work with to get results in the future than any other options. In fact, your old instincts to change up your product or your messaging or to fire your sales team and your marketing team will begin to feel like a hope and pray strategy. When you have a solid lead management foundation built into your CRM and that your sales reps use and love, you'll have a tremendous amount of confidence that the leads that you're investing so much in generating will turn into closed sales. So to help you further, I recently created a lead management masterclass for HubSpot customers. During this web class, you'll learn how to turn more leads into customers without going to war with your sales team. I'll go over how to supercharge your sales and reporting using HubSpot's hidden field, even if you have a small team. You'll learn the secret Jedi mind trick that turns the salespeople who give you the most pushback into your biggest champions. And then the last secret you'll learn is how to get your sales team to handle 14 times more leads without adding an extra hour of work to their days. You can access this training at hssalessuccess.com. That's hssalessuccess.com. And it's free to attend. It's really helpful. It's in-depth. Set aside 60 to 90 minutes. You're not going to want to miss a minute of this. And it'll be the most valuable time you spend on your business this week. With that, everybody, thanks for listening to the Small Marketing Teams podcast, and I will see you online.